Hi, uh, so good to have you here. Thank you, good to have you here as well. Okay, can you briefly introduce yourself and your company for the viewers, please? Sure, my name is Edward Nwakadi. I'm mm -hmm. the founder and CEO of Red Swan CRE. We're a full service marketplace of tokenized commercial real estate. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Um, what are the key advantages of STOs compared to traditional security offerings in your opinion? Great question. Mm -hmm. uh, I believe that one of the key factors is, um, to, is being able to provide uh, mm -hmm. opportunities for those who've been left out yeah. of, of real estate opportunities mm -hmm. in the past um, because of the fact that we can fractionalize real estate investments, whether they be the equity side or the mm -hmm. debt side. We're actually democratizing that access for people around the world to be able to participate. And that actually helps them to really increase or enhance their financial wealth management capabilities. Cool. Then can you provide us an example of successful STO that your company has facilitated? Sure. Yeah, we have several. Um, we've had a, a project that was United States. It's a multifamily uh, property. It, was 317 units of apartment wow. building. Yeah. Um, it was a $52 million transaction. Mm -hmm. And we monetized that for the owner uh, by selling off 90% of the equity in his property. Wow. Uh, so that was one. Uh, we have several, we have about five and a half billion dollars worth of uh, properties we've tokenized already. Mm -hmm. uh, the most recent being a three and a half billion dollar portfolio in the Middle East, which is um, Abu Dhabi and Qatar. Mm -hmm. And we're looking forward to provide that opportunity for fractionalization because um, it's, uh, uh, in Qatar is more of a uh, Islamic finance uh, format. So many Muslims around the world, and there are oh. millions and millions of Muslims yeah. around the world that only invest in uh, assets or investments that are Islamic, oh, okay. uh, sh Sharia compliant. Yeah. And this is a Sharia mm -hmm. compliant uh, type of investment. So we're really excited about bringing that to the, this, those parts of the world as well as yeah. uh, in the United States where they're looking for mm -hmm. great low, low risk opportunities with, with good yield. Uh, what do you think about Korea's market, Korea real estate market? I'm excited about the market. I mean, I'm waiting for the regulatory to kind wow. of uh, fall in place. Mm -hmm. uh, United States, the regulatory was pretty straightforward. Yeah. We actually have our license uh, to operate in the United States as mm -hmm. security broker dealers on the digital side. And once we have that license here, we look forward to really collaborating with cool. broker dealers on this side, actually bringing in content, you know, supply of real estate opportunities mm -hmm. from the United States, from Africa, from yeah. Middle East. So Koreans have a variety of selection into mm -hmm. what they can invest in. Cool. Um, then in your opinion, what does the future hold for the SEO market in the next five to 10 years? I think that everything is moving digital. I mean, there's just no uh, doubt about it. It's inevitable that we're going to be uh, moving in a digital world. And, mm -hmm. and real estate is one of those items that are going to continue to um, be fractionalized on the yeah. blockchain. And so I think that you'll stop seeing uh, the traditional real estate where brokers are selling whole properties. And you're going to see more broker dealers, uh, security broker dealers, selling fractional shares mm -hmm. of properties. Yeah. And that will allow uh, the current owners to hold their properties for a longer term, mm -hmm. but also transition to allow smaller investors to be part owners of those properties as well. That's so, the future I see. Oh, that sounds interesting. Then, is there any advice you want to give to companies or investors who are willing to come into a steel industry in the future? I think really start paying attention. Education is really the key to this. Many people still confuse security tokens and tokenization as, mm -hmm. as uh, cryptocurrency or yeah. Bitcoin. And I think that's much, much bigger than that. And just like you're seeing like in Japan and uh, UAE, uh, the government foundation is pretty clear and yeah. many people are getting involved in yeah. tokenization. So uh, I would advise them to jump in now so they don't miss okay. out. Mm -hmm. uh, kind of like the gold rush when yeah. you start seeing a lot of people buying uh, real estate opportunities. Mm -hmm. And if, if they buy the majority of it and you come in late, then you're going to get yeah. what's left over. Mm. So, so be I, an early bird? Get, be in the early bird, mm. learn the adoption, get educated on it, cool. and get involved. Cool. Thank you so much for your um, discussion. Thank you for your insights with us today. Well, thank you for this opportunity. We look forward to it. Thank you. Okay.